Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with a petty revenge story for you. This one is titled, Customer Came In Demanding I Break the Rules for Her. I am an overnight cashier at a gas station. Pretty chill most nights. There's a few bad apples, as always, but nothing too bad. Every now and then, I'd get an entitled customer that demands I sell them beer without an ID, against state law, wouldn't dream of it, or sell them cigarettes despite being 20. Sorry, kids, not happening. One lady, though, she really got under my skin. Happened a while back. She comes in around 11.30, so well past time that we shut down the lottery. We turn off the machine at 10 as per our store regulations. There's a ton of updates the machine undergoes nightly, and it takes six to seven hours. I keep an eye on her, and I notice that she has one of the draw ball style lotto, lotto cards in her hand. I call out and explain that her machine is off for the night, so I cannot sell her tickets. She scoffs loudly and says that I'm lying and I don't want to do my job. I reiterate that the machine is already undergoing maintenance, so she'll have to return at 5 a.m. when the machine is ready for service. She throws the ticket on the ground and stomps to the beer. I'm already annoyed, and in my head, I know I'll make sure my coworker takes care of her next time. I don't want to deal with this drama. She comes back to the counter, beer cans in tow, and slams them onto the counter. I grab one to scan and ask for her ID. Lady, once again, scoffs and asks if it's really necessary. She has wrinkles older than me. I explain that it's store policy and state law to see ID for alcoholic purchases. We go back and forth for five minutes. It only ends when I tell her she could either give me the ID so I can do my job or she could leave beerless and lottoless. She passes me her ID, face bright red, and the lady just starts going off at this point, saying that I need to lose my job. My manager, whom she called by name, would be so upset to hear how I'm treating a regular. I write my name, my manager's free time for the next day, and tell her she is free to come in and, compl- and complain about me doing my job. I, <laughs> It'll go absolutely great for her. She snatches the paper and starts asking me to sell her cigarettes. I tell her I'm not selling her anything else, as she has repeatedly made me uncomfortable and I have the right to refuse service to anyone for any reason. She leaves screaming that she's going to come back and kick my ass. I, I leave a long text to my managers in the group chat explaining what happened along with the description of her. A couple hours later, some of my regulars come in for their nightly coffees, two of the local sheriffs. I gave them the rundown of what transpired and one of them promises to swing through a few times for a few nights to make sure she's not causing trouble. Here's where I get petty. She had parked at the front of the store. I had perfect view of her license plate, so I took a note and waited. Lady shows up two nights later and parks by the dumpster. She's standing on the sidewalk for two hours, waiting for me to come outside. About an hour in, I call the tow service our store uses. I say there's a broken down car in our parking lot in prime parking position. As per rules, cops come through, as they always do for coffee, and they ask me if she's the customer harassing them. I confirm it is. They go out and talk to her. At this point, the tow truck pulls in. Lady starts walking away from the cops to talk to the driver, confused and pissed. I didn't get her to hear. I didn't get to hear much of the encounter, but I watched as she got arrested, put in the back of the uh, of the patrol car, and they waited for the tow truck to finish hauling off her car before leaving. No idea what happened to her. She didn't. She hasn't come back in, and I didn't get in trouble with management. Damn, that's the way to do it. You're like, you know what? Okay. And, and you know what? So, so OP, uh, first of all, all you had to do in general, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advocate for getting people arrested in their cars towed. It seems a little bit extreme, right? But you didn't really do any of that. Uh, you just laid the groundwork for everything and she did everything herself. She made all of this possible herself. She was standing outside on the sidewalk for two hours waiting for you to come out What? so she could supposedly whoop your ass. I mean, at that point, she's asking for a confrontation anyway. So, I mean, the logical thing to do would be to call the cops anyway. Luckily, they were already coming by. And if she was just loitering, she is towable, right? So that all makes sense. The fact that that when all of this conditionally started happening, she could have very easily been like, oh, no, I, I'm you know, it, it's fine. I'll get my car and leave and blah, blah, blah. And just made it go away. Instead, she chose to escalate and escalate and escalate and escalate and escalate and got her ass thrown in the back of a squad car while she watched her car get towed away. I'm guessing she won't fuck with you anymore. Ah, uh, ooh, per- yeah. And if it finished with a perma ban, uh, she's got to be perma ban from this place, right? She's got to be. She's got to be. Ah, Mad props for Opie. Man, she did. She doubled down, Penny. 
She absolutely doubled down to be a fly on the wall. Oh, yeah. I, hopefully they had like their body cams, those police, because that's that's probably social gold. That I'm sure is just absolute gold. I'm sure she reacted very, very reserved, very demure, very cutesy. <laughs> 